wasn't sure about these glasses but I feel like I look smart to talk about this topic so I'm gonna keep the glasses <laughs> Oh my god, what was that? What was that? I am embarrassed. I am embarrassed. to my channel if you're new here my name is Erica Namu and today's chit chat we're gonna chit chat all about relationships why because I feel like it's something I want to talk about I like talking about random stuff and this is the random stuff that I've decided for this video and specifically dating in your 20s because hello I'm 20s what I'm 20s I'm in my 20s I never knew where when that happened I mean, child, I'm 22. Like, people see me as an adult. Like, you see, when I'm in the middle of, like, teenagers, they look at me and they're like, you're the only adult in the house or around. Like, when I have my teenage cousins and they're like, you know, you're the only adult in the house. I'm like, we'll go to hell. <laughs> I'm still young, okay? Still young. So, the reason I'm talking about this is because dating in your 20s is kind of hard for various reasons number one you're both trying to grow yourself you're trying to discover yourself here's the tea in your 20s you're literally out of high school in high school everything was organized for you arranged for you um you were taught how to you know there was a time for everything time to eat breathe drink sleep it was all like a custom since you're born like you've never had time for yourself to think about yourself and to have to plan your life by yourself since birth we were planned for our lives was planned for every second of it you know with school with home everything was planned so your 20s are your time to discover who you are as a person not as a student of course we are all students in our 20s still i'm still a college student but this is different no one is forcing me to go to class no one is forcing me to actually even go to school no one is forcing you to do anything so this is a time where you discover yourself find yourself and everything and when you're doing that and then someone else comes into your life at the same time it's gonna clash because you're trying to discover yourself they're trying to discover themselves so none of you is technically knowing what they're doing um you're just winging it okay you're just swinging it and it works for some people and it doesn't for other people for example for me i had to discover myself by myself without um help okay because i feel like that's the best thing plus i took a long break from dating i'm still on my break so this is my time to grow myself develop myself understand myself everything so i feel like that's what like especially in your early 20s that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing okay that's what you're supposed to be focusing on something else that's actually going to make that makes dating in your early 20s very very hard is because you're all trying to grow your career not not most people think about their career in their 20s i know that but there's a group okay we have a there's a group okay of people like us who kind of want to grow their career very early in their life okay so when you're trying to at the beginning of every single career it's tough it doesn't matter what kind of connections you have it's still kind of tough reason being um there is no shortcut you can pay yourself through you can pay um you can buy yourself success but not really there's some there's some work you're supposed to put in so in reality um you need to work extra hard to get your career where you want it to be even if you have help okay maybe you're going the same line as your parents maybe your parents are like real estate agents right successful and you're getting into the real estate market it's going to be a little bit easier for you but your success will determine your hard work at the very end even if you get that upper push okay so technically speaking you have to work for your career no matter which kind of career you have or whether it's going to be easy for you to join or hard for you to join the success of it has to come from you okay you can't buy that so in your early 20s that's what you're focused on like for example right now child if i get into a relationship it's probably gonna be over in like a month <laughs> a month is a long time probably gonna be over in like two weeks why i can spend an entire weekend without even looking at my phone 
Well, I look at my phone, the important stuff, my YouTube analytics, uh, YouTube. I am on YouTube more than anything else because, hello, that's where I work. I work on YouTube and I go on Instagram a little bit just, you know, to post a couple of stuff and I'm trying to be as active as I can in other social media platforms. So that is technically what, um... I'm focusing on right now so when it comes to oh my god you know the, 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 if I date somebody right now and then they go like oh my god um it's been two hours you haven't texted me back <laughs> child I cannot like I can ignore you for a week it's not because I am thinking about it actually first of all you were out of my mind 100% because I got stuff to do okay so if I have stuff to do that means you have stuff to do so it's kind of hard keeping the relationship as it is because i am focused on my career you're focused on your career la 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 la, la. everyone is focused on their own thing right something else that um poses as a challenge when it comes to dating in your 20s is that it's time is the it's the is the one chance you have to actually make mistakes enjoy life whatever like i know um i yap up a lot about how i'm focused you know whatever whatever, whatever. but i also want to enjoy life right now okay because i don't know 20 years from now i'm gonna have the energy to if i get a chance right now i'm talking about right now to travel the world or be in a relationship fuck the relationship y'all man always gonna be there go and have fun go travel the world go see the world go do whatever this is the time for you to explore everything that you've ever wanted to explore in your life this is the time this is the moment this is your chance I feel like this is the best year. So when you add that up with a lot of um, emotional attachment to another person when you have the chance to enjoy your young life. Cause y'all, people always say you only live once, but that's not my motto. My motto is you live every single day. You don't live once, you live every single day. You die once, okay? And once you die, once you die, that's it, you're done. So the life that you're living every single day, make it great, make it awesome. If you can, make every day count. Cause you don't know how long you're gonna be here. So yes, my priorities are way off. Okay, I have never prioritized like, marriage kids whatever that kind of lifestyle so when i'm telling you this is some of this some of this thing that i'm talking about kind of personally applies even if it might apply to somebody else but this is just something that i have seen um and i have realized in my very short time as a 20 year old uh, <laughs> so this is the time because I have seen couples get mad at each other because one traveled without telling the other I'm like you ain't a married couple heck even if I was married to somebody and they go travel do you boo because I'm gonna get on that plane and go and I'm gonna forget to tell you I'll be like oh by the way um I left <laughs> it's not it's not all about you you know some people think just because you've traveled somewhere you're cheating no I'm probably alone enjoying the world the only thing I'm cheating on you with is ice cream and champagne so chill out okay chill relax so that is like i don't know i feel like okay this is a little bit controversial but i feel like dating to like being okay there's dating and then there's fully fully being committed to dating to the date the relationship um there's dating and being in a relationship that's a two very different things for me in my brain so i feel like when you're too invested in your relationship as a young person you forget about yourself so you slow down your chances of becoming whoever you want it to be and then you just slow down and probably even forget about what you wanted to be that's how i see these people who get who um marry so young in life and then they divorce they have no clue what to do with their lives anymore because they never had a chance to grow something by themselves okay it's great fine you found a rich man who wants to take care of you a housewife i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm saying you need to have something to fall back on human beings are unpredictable he might love you today tomorrow he's kicking you the fuck out and if you have nothing you don't have a skill a career that you had grown i get most people get married and then they stop their career but they had a career other people other girls just don't have the career so you have nothing for yourself you have no skill that you can say um if this fails i can easily go back to this 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 and that it doesn't matter what kind it has to be there so i kind of feel like dating so young in life slows you down or stops you from getting to your full potential now 
I'm not gonna talk all about negatives. Let's go to some not really positives, but I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips that I have collected um the past years about how to actually be in a relationship in your 20s and also focus on yourself at the same time okay you can do that it's possible people have done that before i follow this girl um her name is jenna she's called jenna hong um her and her boyfriend have been together since high school she just turned 26 happy belated birthday uh her birthday was october 10th or is it october 9th october 10th monday so i have been watching her for a long time very long time um she mostly does productivity vlogs i can link her channel down below just in case um you want to see she does a lot of productivity vlogs journal journaling and all of that so she and her boyfriend have been together for eight years she's 26 meaning they started dating in high school but she has her career she um, works in corporate uh something about being a marketing researcher whatever intelligence something about marketing intelligence corporate whatever that kind of stuff and then the boyfriend is a medical student so those are two very different things but they made their relationship work they're still together everybody's doing their own thing but at the end of the day they come back to the same house they have just moved in together like a couple of months ago yes i stalk the people i watch move along okay moving along i know way too much about the people I follow because I like to dive way too deep um, because I'm way too nosy. So, a couple of tips. Tips what? Tip one. Tip one. Okay. Never listen to me, boys and girls around the world. Never. Especially this, actually, okay, this point is mostly for women because girls, women are more affected by this. But never, ever, 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 ever let a relationship prevent you from achieving your goals prevent you from creating your career prevent you from getting the life that you deserve but nobody's worth it even if he's a prince he ain't worth it that's what i always say no man in this world is worth you giving up your career for just because you know you want to date him like no 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 way never i don't know like i wish i had like uh, I wish you can talk in capital letters because never let a relationship prevent you from achieving your goals should all be in capital, capital letters, caps, all caps. I could scream it to you, but no, nah, I'm not going to scream it to you. <laughs> but seriously, never, 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 ever, 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 never. I don't know how much I can say never because I'm about to say never a lot in this video. So. Tip number two, okay? Tip number two. I have seen this with a couple of friends I used to have and, you know, acquaintances. There's friends, acquaintances, and people I used to know. So, I have seen this before. When you're in a relationship with somebody, it actually, at this point, it doesn't even matter if it's a heterosexual relationship. Even the gay relationship, channels are even worse. They're way too toxic. Don't come at me. Okay, I said what I said moving on okay um i have seen people get so like they make their relationship their personality and then they lack no personality like if you strip away the relationship there's nothing left of him or them or they or he she whatever your pronouns you prefer um it doesn't like it's a bad thing it's actually a very bad thing if you strip away the relationship the boyfriend their girlfriend it they become nothing because they're so invested in the relationship that that is all they know and that is what they have become they've become their own relationship so they're not even their own person anymore that's a bad thing you're not supposed to be that don't ever let a relationship become your personality never still remain who you are still remain yourself your authentic self okay next thing is that um and this is works both on both ends of the spectrum you need to remember that you and your partner i'm not gonna say girlfriend or boyfriend because i'll be assuming your gender mm -hmm. um you and your partner um you are two different people you have two different lives yes you've come together to make a relationship but you are two different people so you are allowed to do your own stuff like 
I'm gonna go back and refer to Jenner again. I'm sorry, you're gonna be the re reference because you are a girl in your twenties. You're like your woman in your twenties, making all this work. Um, they live in the same house now, and she's doing her vlogging, and he's doing his studies in the same house. They're not even talking to each other because she knows it's time for him to work, to study. And when she's working, he's somewhere else and they're not talking. It's not because they're mad at each other or they don't love each other anymore. No, it's because it's time for each of them to do their own thing. Okay, a medical student and a marketing intelligence strategy, whatever. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm saying the wrong thing about her job. But those are two very different careers at the end of the day, even if I might be saying her job wrong. But they're two very different careers, meaning they have two different kind of schedules, two different kinds of game plan. So they give each other space, okay, that whichever space someone needs because they all have different schedules and everything. That's how people should understand, okay? You and your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you and your partner have two very different and separate lives, okay, when it comes to, you know, your career or something. So don't merge everything. You cannot merge everything. So you need to be able to know that you have your own life, they have their own life, and don't get mad at them for doing their own stuff. Like, I see girls getting mad at their husbands, boyfriend, partners, whatever, for working a lot. I mean, you want that Chanel bag. You're gonna have to let him work a lot so um the next thing i'm gonna say is i think i've said this before never let your like never put your job studies career whatever in front of a relationship priorities okay i let me tell you the truth right now if i found myself in a serious relationship we're gonna sit down and talk and i'm gonna tell him first of all one i will put my career above you and you're supposed to do the same because that is a personal thing we might not last forever but your career is gonna be with you forever so put your career first don't neglect your relationship but try and put your career first that's the point now i have two more points or the tips before i had a book i i, I wrote it down i didn't want to miss anything or verb or diary because this is something that i feel like is a bit important but i can also play with it now the next thing is you <laughs> couples couples child you don't need to do everything together like i see like couples get like you know girls or guys they get so mad at their partner because they're not including them in everything they do you don't allow you know <laughs> it, it's not written somewhere in stone or whatever that you and your partner are supposed to do everything together some things do together but not everything like I would want to have someone follow me everywhere I go. Like, if I want to go for a happy hour and maybe I just want to go with my girls, why are you following? Go have some, you know, some alone time with your guy friends. That you need to have, like, that's what I'm saying. It kind of adds up to my last point. You need to have two different lives. Okay, there's a lot, there's a point where y'all have to do your own thing so you don't have to do everything together. Okay, now the last point that y'all are not going to find this so interesting or you're not gonna like agree with me on this but i feel like when you're so young you don't fully commit to a relationship so fast don't be like oh my god i found the right oh my god we're getting married oh my god we're having children no like i feel like you need to chill and see you know just see maybe what you think you like is not what you actually like i, I i'm honest like Three years from now, not from now, three years ago, my type of guys and my type of guys now, woo! Two different ends of the spectrum. So different. So what you think you like right now might not what might not be what you like tomorrow. So since you're still young and discovering yourself, learning yourself, take it slow. Take it slow. Okay? Now, in conclusion, don't in conclusion, okay, I am not saying that you shouldn't date in your twenties. You can do whatever you want, girl. It's your life, boo boo. But I know love happens in random times. But think about it first. Don't just jump into the opportunity because a guy smiles at you. Duh. Okay. Now I am tired and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go have my dinner. Dinner, lunch. I'm gonna have go have lunch and yeah and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye
She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her